Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to perform event handling in a React application. Well, in React, event handling allows you to handle user interactions such as button clicks, form submissions or mouse movements within your React application. Event handling in React follows similar pattern to standard JavaScript event handling but with some differences. React events are written in camel case syntax, for example, on click instead of on click so this on click is a camel case react event handlers are written in you know inside a curly braces for example here you can see on click within a curly braces shoot is the event handler name instead of on click and here we are passing shoot event handler name within a double quote right but in react we typically pass the event handlers name within a curly braces like this all right so let us go ahead and let us understand how to perform event handling in react application with an example so let us head over to vs code id over here and here i am going to create a new file go to components folder within that create a new file let's call it as event handling dot js perfect next let me expand this let me minimize this and within a event handling.js file, let's create a functional component using arrow function. So here const and then let's view functional component name as event handling and then parenthesis and then arrow symbol. Next within a event handling functional component, let us maintain count state variable using use state hook. So here let us call use state hook from react library and make sure that use state hook is imported at the top next let us destructure it so here const and then let us view the state variable name as count and then the method name set count next let us give the initial value to this count state variable as zero okay perfect now we have maintained count state variable using use state hook Next, let us have a return statement over here and within a return statement, we are going to write the JSX code. So within a parenthesis, let's have a div as a parent element and within a div, let us first print the heading by using h1 tag. Let us view the heading something like event handling example. Next, let us use paragraph element over here and then let us print the current count by using count state variable so here in order to access the count state variable in a jsx we have to use curly braces so within a curly braces just pass count state variable name here next let us create a button let us give button name as increment and here let us attach the on click event for that let us use on click property here and notice here the react event should be in a camel case okay next we need to pass the event handler name within a curly basis for example here let us view event handler name as handle click okay so whenever user click on this increment button then this handler handle click function will be triggered so let us implement this handle click function over here so here just type function and then handle click all right next in order to update the count state we have to use set count method so here just call set count method and then increment the count by one so count plus one all right perfect next here let's create one more button and let us give name as reset and let us attach unclick event to this button so let us type unclick and then let us pass the event handler name within a curly braces handle reset something like that next let us implement this event handler over here so here function and then function name handle reset and then call set count method and then pass zero well handle reset function will get triggered when reset button clicked and this handle reset function will set the count value back to zero by using set count method okay perfect next let us save this file and here you can see we haven't exported this component yet so let us use default export 
to export this event handling functional component so here just type export default and then component name that is event handling perfect next let us open app.js file over here and within app.js file let me comment of this and here let us use event handling component and make sure that event handling component is imported at the top perfect just save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see initially the count value is 0 and increment and reset buttons are displayed over here next let us go ahead and click on increment button over here so look at here the count value is incremented by 1 and again if you click on increment button one more time you can see the count value 2 all right and if you click on reset button it will reset the count value back to 0 okay it means we have successfully handled the on click event well here in heading we have a typo so this should be handling perfect so this is how basically we perform event handling in react well let me recap what we have done we have created a functional component named event handling within this functional component we have maintained count state variable using use state hook next this handle click function is get called when the increment button is clicked and this function updates you know count state by incrementing it by one using set count method and this handle reset function set the count state value back to zero well in this example we have seen on click event handling but in upcoming lectures we will also take a look into form handling and within a form handling we will learn how to perform different events like on submit event on change event etc all right so this is how we can perform event handling in react and just remember the syntax react event should be in a camel case for example like on click and the event handler should be passed in a curly braces like this okay perfect i will see you 